The LPGA moved to the City of Industry in California last week for the Kia Classic. And after a laboured start to the final round with three bogeys in her first six holes, overnight leader G.A. Shin worked her way back into contention with this stunning approach at the 12th. But it was her playing partner Sandra Gull who would prove the sharper on the greens, draining this 30-footer on the same hole while Shin failed to convert. But the world number two struck back at the following hole, with this superb tee shot dropping to within six feet and setting up a birdie opportunity which she duly dispatched. And Gull's failure to get up and down from just off the green meant the two were neck and neck after 13. Closest challenger overnight, Na Yon Choi, faltered after a bright start with a bogey at the same par three and then shot into the water at the 15th. It spelled the end of her chase. Christy Kerr would sneak into a tie for third place with I.K. Kim after a closing 67. But the tail of the final round really came down to the last pairing. Shin's iron play was exemplary throughout the day with this accurate approach shot to the 14th, typifying her high standards from tee to green. Gal refused to back down though, sliding a lofty wedge under the ball and manoeuvring what was an awkward chip shot to within 12 feet. On a hole that looked odds to produce a two-shot swing in Shin's favour, Gal made her par save look easy, while her frustrated opponent again saw a birdie putt slip by and the two walked off still tied for the lead. Shin's putter suddenly sprang back to life on the 15th, this mid-range birdie effort rolling smoothly into the centre of the cup, while Gal could only par from the fridge. The real turning point of the day, though, came at 16, where both leaders, hungry for victory, eyed up the tight pin position. Both were in the zone coming down the stretch and dialed in to hit their short irons within birdie range. Shin's ball landing just inside Gal's. But Gal made the most of her honour. Her 10-foot birdie punt doing just enough to topple in and put the pressure right back on her South Korean opponent, who would miss her own chance to draw level. Both would part the 17th and Shin, leader by one after 54 holes, came down the 18th on Sunday, training by the same margin. The pairing exchanged approach shots of real quality throughout the final day. This one of Gulls from 83 yards out, typifying the short iron excellence on show. Shin once again failed to exploit her pin-seeking wedge shot. The ruthless putting stroke of the German proved pivotal in her claiming her maiden LPGA victory. And with one of her compatriots already at the top of the men's game, she has plenty to aspire to in 2011.